So in this video, we're going to go through three more examples of subtracting with decimals. Okay. So we have 3.28, and I'm subtracting 0.877. So make sure the decimal points line up and fill in any gaps with zeros. Now we have 0 take away 7, which we can't do. So I need to borrow 1 from the 8. So the 8 becomes 7, and I've now got 10 take away 7. Okay, so 10 take away 7 is 3. 7 take away 7 is 0. Then we've got 2 take away 8, which I can't do. So I need to borrow 1 from the 3, and the 2 becomes 12. 12 take away 8 is 4. 2 take away 0 is 2, bring the decimal point down. So we have 2.403. OK. So this is where it's going to get a little bit more fiddly. Now, this second one you could probably do in your head. Um, so you'll be able to check the result. OK. Now, it doesn't look like it should be tricky, but let's see what happens in that first step. 3 take away 9, we can't do, so we need to borrow 1 from the 0. However, there are no 1s to borrow, so I can't borrow 1 from the 0. So now you need to think of it as bringing in the next term along, and then borrowing 1 from that. But the problem is that we've got 0, 0. And borrowing one from that will still have a bit of a problem. We've got none to borrow. So we then need to bring in the next term along and think, OK, I've now got 300. And I need to borrow one from 300, which means this is going to become 299. And the 3 becomes the 13. OK, so essentially you need to work your way along the line. 13 take away 9 is 4. 9 take away 1 is 8. Bring the decimal point down. 9 take away 0 is 9. 2 take away nothing is 2. So we get 29.84. OK, so let's see another example of this. So we have 301.02 take away 2.931. Fill in any gaps with zeros, and then we're ready. So we have 0 take away 1, which we can't do. So we need to borrow 1 from the 2. It's going to become 1. And now we've got 10 take away 1 is 9. 1 take away 3 we can't do. So we need to borrow one from the zero, but it's got none to borrow, well, none for us to borrow, rather. So we then need to think about 10 and taking away one, borrowing one from the 10. So 10 will become 9, and I've borrowed one, so I now have 11. 11 take away 3 is 8. 9 take away 9 is 0. Bring the decimal point down. 0 take away 2, I can't do, so I'm going to need to borrow. Now, 0 has none to lend me, so I now need to think about 30 and borrowing 1 from 30. So 30 becomes 29, and I've borrowed 1, so I now have 10 take away 2, which is 8. 9 take away nothing is 9, 2 take away nothing is 2. So I end up with... 298.089